I wanted to film this video since we are all basically in the similar situation so we were spending a lot of time inside and um, using different types of media so in this video I want to talk about how you can use media to advance your English learning. So the first one would be the usage of TV shows and movies for your benefit. Of course, I know all of you and most of you have Netflix and Amazon Prime and different streaming services that you use and you watch your favorite TV shows and movies. A lot of my students watch uh, sci-fi <laughs> movies like Star Wars and Avengers and I don't know, I don't follow that genre anyway, but um, horror movies as well. Uh, that is also um, one thing that I would like to mention. So um, watching TV shows and movies uh, that have a little bit more storyline, that have a little bit more content uh, would be the better option because there you have more dialogue to follow. Uh, there is, um, basically the vocabulary is much richer. So uh, by watching, for example, documentaries, this is a good way to... I uh, also want to mention that if you're a beginner or intermediate, you should definitely use your native uh, language subtitles. If you are upper intermediate and advanced, of course, you can uh, turn on English subtitles and try to connect the pronunciation with the words that you uh, see. Um, in the subtitles this is also a good way I sometimes use um, English subtitles anyway there is uh, if the accent is a little bit off um, if you're watching some um, some production that's not American for example that has a little bit of a strong accent then uh, it, it is always a good idea to turn on subtitles when I'm gonna talk about podcasts a lot of students have told me that they listen to podcasts podcasts, especially NPR, BBC uh, podcasts that are oriented to news. Of course, you have to be informed. And if you're listening your news in English, that is always a good way to incorporate English learning into your media consumption. Um, but I also think uh, there are excellent podcasts on, I don't know, iTunes and there are other applications um, that uh, have a great selection of podcasts. Uh, that follow again a little bit more of a storyline. There is one story told in different episodes There is maybe like one to ten episodes and um, It engages you to listen so closely uh, Because you don't have visual content. So you have to focus on the pronunciation and uh, the the text that that's been read so there are a lot of characters that do different things and you have to kind of connect everything from episode to episode if you have more time to engage in something like this it's an excellent way to 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 learn English the next one is reading a lot of you guys receive um, your journals um, if you're professionals from different fields like business, you have your business journals, The Economist, if you are a medical professional, I have a lot of doctors that are my students, they have medical journals that they read. Um, you have some uh, online databases like GStore and Scribd, academia.edu. Uh, I'm gonna link them in the description below. Uh, you need to subscribe as a professional to these and you can find many, many different journals um, from your field and books that are going to be interesting for you to read. This is an excellent way, an excellent source of vocabulary. Um, and of course, this is good because you can just read it as much as you want and then leave it and then come back to it um, and study it a little bit more. So my personal favorite would be YouTube. I listen to YouTube. Uh, channels. Uh, I'm subscribed, for example, to Harvard Radcliffe Institute. Um, they have a lot of lectures that they stream online, a lot of seminars um, on different topics from humanities and social sciences. So if you're somebody who's interested in that, um, you you can find uh, their channel very useful. I'm also going to link link it below. Uh, this is a more complex way to, to practice listening because those are usually professors, um, panelists, uh, researchers who have a much richer vocabulary. So if you are somebody who's preparing to study your master degree or PhD or if you 
uh, are becoming a researcher uh, in that field, this is also a good way to practice because that is what you're going to listen uh, at your program abroad in English. Also, um, if you are a medical professional, John Hopkins uh, has an excellent YouTube channel. They are number one American hospital and institution, uh, medical university. So uh, they have a lot of scientists, doctors um, that are interviewed there on the newest discoveries. Uh, so you will find a lot of interesting content over there. Last but not least, there is a great website which is called BritishCouncil.com, I think. I'm also going to link it below. This is a website that has an excellent business podcast uh, for business English learning. So if you are a business professional, if you're starting your own business, if you're new at your job, um, if you are doing your MBA, uh, these are all daily situations at work in the office. It's usually like a communication between between two people that you have to listen to or it's like a job interview, a CV presentation, how to get a new project, how to be more um, extroverted, how to uh, engage in your um, collective at work, um, also how to be more assertive. There are many, many different topics, like I think over 100 over there, and you can listen to that. Uh, this is also free of charge, I think, so you don't have to pay anything to uh, be subscribed and to listen to their podcasts. Also, this is a time where we all need to follow the news um, s regarding pandemic uh, and this virus. So I think it's, it is also a good way to, to just engage in, in different um, online news and to read, uh, try to read and understand what they're saying over there and what's the situ situation in different countries. Um, regarding this. Um, so yeah, please, um, my battery is gonna go, so I have to finish the video. Um, please stay safe and stay healthy, and yeah, see you very soon in the next video. Bye-bye.